Welcome back. It is Masters Day and opening day in Major League Baseball, but there are no games in the Lone Star State, so the eyes of Texas are all on Austin. It's time for the Cyber Rodeo. That's what they're calling the opening of Tesla's Austin, Texas assembly plant. Festivities start in under an hour. Elon Musk expected to speak around nine tonight. So get out your dancing cowboy boots, I assume. There will be music, there will be fireworks. Eventually, yeah, hopefully he dances just like that. Eventually, the Austin plant will make Tesla's cyber truck electric pickup, but that's been delayed until 2023 at the earliest. In the meantime, the factory will focus on the Model Y. This event, guys, so big, the local school district is releasing students a couple of hours early to avoid traffic jams around the city. Rochelle, these things, I can't think of an equivalent of any other company opening a factory becoming such an enormous cultural event. And as you mentioned, if, if we're at the point now where, where schools have to let out early just because of an Elon Musk event, I mean, th this this is next level. I've not seen this sort of movement over, over a launch like this. And obviously looking at some of the pictures that we saw of the video of the cyber truck, you know, I know it's been delayed. I was actually excited to see that. I was hoping that would be something that, that I would see. I mean, it is a bit... Robocop-esque. You do have to wonder who the market for a Cybertruck would be, if it's people who like pickups and want something greener, or people who just love Tesla, or people who just, just want to be seen in the latest and greatest Tesla things. I mean, if, if you look at it, I, don't, I just don't see why your average pickup truck person is really going to gravitate towards this. But, you know, you have... Uh, <laughs> You, maybe it's the look at me crowd. Who knows? I mean, definitely anywhere he comes, he brings the thunder. So I'm sure there will be a market for it somewhere, somehow, even if it never existed before. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Pentagon on wheels. And so you see that riding around enough times. And if you are so inclined uh, to feel like you can be an in, in indestructible, and I kind of say that loosely, considering you can throw something at the window and seemingly it will still crack, even if it's in demo mode, as we had seen the last time that they had tested it out. I, I hope what we do witness, though, here is Elon the business rock star that he is, of course, continuing to talk about what types of jobs this will mean ultimately for the region. Of course, he's going to talk about that. Uh, we'll see if there are any figureheads on the political front as well that are intertwined within the broader launch of the Gigafactory in, in Austin. Um, because it has been so contentious, the relationship that Elon Musk has had with political figures all the way up to the White House. And so uh, this is going to be a big deal in how he further entrenches the name Tesla within the roots of American automobiles, especially for the next leg and in inflection point that electric, electric vehicles will provide. And he's going to face some stark competition as well from those behemoths that have already been in the industry for decades now. It is, it is a weird looking truck. The Rivian, obviously the first to market, and a lot of people I have heard have signed up and are on long wait lists. Didn't realize there was that kind of market, but they're very excited for those trucks to get delivered. Uh, people are actually trying to buy tickets, by the way, to that party, 15,000 invitees. You cannot buy a ticket. It is by invite only.